Hello and welcome everybody. Today I'm going to show you how to make your very own home dog poo compost. Let's start off by grabbing everything you need to get this done. You need a bin. I've got a 45 litre one here. Make sure it's got a lid that is nice and easy to take on and off. This is what's going to keep the odour trapped in. Um, so we've got two small dogs that we're going to be putting their poop into. Um, so this should be a good size for them. You probably can go a bit smaller if you wanted to, but I think this is going to be great. You're going to need a good sturdy shovel to dig your hole, a dog. Next you're going to need a drill and a saw. This is to drill some holes into the bin and this is to cut the bottom off. Next you're going to need some rocks. I took these ones from my garden, but you can also get some from Bunnings or any hardware store. And lastly, you're going to need some Enzo Pet Starter Mix. This is packed full with microorganisms, which is going to help everything to break down super fast. So with your compost, you may notice that it might start to build up to start with, but don't worry, this is just the initial process. It will start to break down eventually, and you'll notice that it will slowly go down once everything gets together. Let's get started. Step one, we're going to drill some holes into our bin. We want to drill probably about three rows up to about three quarters full. We want to leave about much of a gap to the top so that's about the bit that's going to stick out of the ground and we also want to make sure that when we put the bin in the hole that all the holes are going to be covered because this is going to help trap all the odor in because nobody wants to smell your dog poo now we have our bin all drilled up it's about two thirds from the top as you can see I've done three rows so now the next job is to cut the bottom out Now that we have a hole in the bottom of our bin, it's time to dig a hole and put it in it. So when looking for a place to dig your hole for your compost, you want to make sure that you're at least two meters away from any edible plants. This will just save any of your edible foods from getting contaminated by the poo. As you can see we now have our hole the bin is in the holes aren't sticking out we have a nice pile to fill the rest of the hole with so our next step is to add in our rocks um, this just helps to aid the drainage of the compost to help get it through into the soil so once you've done that you want to add some grass clippings or if you've got a compost already add some of that in that will just help get everything kick started as well So one of our last two steps is to collect all the dog poo that you can around your house, any that you've taken on walks in your compostable dog poo bags, and we're going to put it in the compost. Grab your poop scooper, grab your bucket, or whatever you're going to put it in, and go grab it. So now we have our poo collected from the house, nice and stinky. I've also got some poo in a bag that we took from our walk this morning. So we're just going to pop those into our compost. Here's what our compost is looking like so far. You know, we've got the original compost with some grass clippings. We've got the rocks deep down the bottom, which you can't actually see anymore. And we've got the dog poo and also our dog poo bag. So for our final step, we're just going to add some of this Enzo Pet Starter Mix. I bought this online. You can search it up. It's a shame that it does come in a plastic bag, so we're going to try to find a way around that. But anyways, it is full, packed full of microorganisms. That's just going to help everything break down a lot faster. Um, it's going to last you a long time. This is a pretty massive bag. Depending on how much poo is in your compost, you're just going to sprinkle a bit over the top so that it's covered. So I've just added a little bit extra because it's our first time. We're going to get it going a bit faster. You might notice that it'll build up 
um, in the early stages of putting everything in but it will start to break down and hopefully this does help get that going too. I've also left a measuring cup in there also just so that's easy for when we put our next lot in. Thanks everybody for watching. I hope you enjoyed um, this video on how to make your own dog poo compost. Let me know if you have any questions, comment below, like the video, subscribe to my YouTube channel if you're watching it on YouTube. And yeah, good luck with making your own and enjoy using our compostable dog poo bags. They'll break down in there also. Bye.